Hello, everyone. Thanks for visiting uh, Alex, alexanderbasica.com, our video blog on app reviews, mobile trends, and uh, leading uh, thought leadership in the mobile industry. I'd like to introduce Andrew Jenkins, who you're familiar with already. Uh, Andrew, uh, to start this video segment, uh, we, we, we both love our, our iOS devices. You and I both have an iPhone and an iPad. What I'd like you to do is, based on all your collective experience in, in trying various applications out, I'd like you to highlight one key app on the iPhone and the iPad that you find has uh, merit for a review in addition to that per personally has helped you out, has made you productive, or, or it, it could be anything. Mm -hmm. But give us a positive review that you feel for each of, of the iOS devices and then maybe list some cons or uh, potential room for improvement on these particular apps. Uh, sure. The uh, Starting with the iPhone, um, I think my probably preferred or, or most used app is uh, an app called OmniFocus and it uh, ties to the um, its sister application on the Mac platform and for those of you who are familiar with the getting things done culture from uh, David Allen or the, the um, uh, getting things done um, approach to uh, time management and productivity it's a great app because you know for the most part people are, are never going anywhere without their phone and so as you think of things that you need to do things you need to follow up on uh, people you need to email or phone or anything that's um, any other task be it people related project related or what I like uh, context related um, it's you know right there uh, in your hand and uh, so and it synchronizes with the application on the Mac and vice versa. So uh, as things arise, if you're thinking about a particular project you might be working on, you just make the entry. But what I like about it, uh, especially versus a, a typical to-do list, is the um, issue of project and context. So it uh, essentially allows you to sort by um, those criteria. So if I say um, I set a context of phone, that means that any task that I've listed where I've set the context to phone means when the phone is ready, or sorry, the phone is nearby, um, then uh, if I've got a list of calls to make related to a number of projects, then I'm maximizing my time using the phone at that particular instance. Maybe I've got 15 minutes before a meeting, I've got five calls to make or return, then I can rhyme those off. Same thing if I set the context to say, um, at home online I've got to look some do some research look something up send an email again the context is there um, to remind me that what tasks are related to that so Andrew just a quick question <clears throat> this OmniFocus is it a cross-platform is it Windows and Mac available and is it available iPhone uh, iPad and it, it's available for the uh, only the Mac platform, uh, ah, the okay. iPhone and iPad. Uh, it's it's from a company called the Omni Group. They also make Omni Graffle and a number of other applications um, that for the Mac platform. And there are several others that I like uh, for uh, some of their other devices. And if people were to consider buying one of these applications, can you give us the price point for the desktop application, the iPad, and the iPhone, if you can recall off the top of your head? Uh, for the iPhone, it was $19.99, so it is uh, uh, one of the more premium apps, but um, it had, uh, you know, I'm not the only one who's giving it a positive review. There were uh, quite a number uh, of positive reviews, and uh, you're able to download a, I think, a 20-page PDF uh, showing how uh, the application marries to the getting things done um methodology mm -hmm. so uh, quite helpful uh, in that regard uh, and I, I think uh, it's been a while since I installed it on the uh, on my laptop we were talking I believe around the sort of forty nine dollars for the app uh, okay for the, for and I think I actually I think the Mac one was 70 and the um uh, the iPad was uh, 39 or well, something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, but but folks, if you want to check it out, just check out the iTunes store. Um, so, so from your perspective... But you'll have to check out the Omni... Um, you can't buy the Mac app yet 
there's no app store per se. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. yeah, correct. Yeah, so so basically you can get it on the actual Omni Group website right. for the Mac, and then once Apple comes out with their Mac mm -hmm. app store, you'll probably be able to buy it directly from there. Mm -hmm. And some people may have already heard of the Omni Group because they make the application Omni Graffle, both for the iPad. Which, yeah, which I've heard of, yeah. And for the Mac, so people who are doing uh, wireframes for websites and, and you know uh, site layouts and things like that, the Omni Graffle app has been quite popular. So, and, and just in closing, uh, so your 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 perspective is that it's helped you out with what you do, learning curve wise, easy to ramp up on the devices. Very very straightforward. Excellent, um, excellent. You know, if uh, you know, you just essentially you're just making a to do list. But the power is when you're putting in the entry of a particular task that you have to do, the extra, and this is where the power comes out for me, is setting that context because now it becomes almost like a database that you're filtering based on project name tasks um oh, sorry a project by context uh or um uh time frames there's a whole bunch of filtering mechanisms which is where the power comes from okay andrew thanks so much for this review we'll do another video segment on on a key ipad application that you really like uh, obviously that ecosystem is still developing but let's uh, move on to the next video and get your review there thanks sure. a lot